Hi there, in this video I want to introduce a new quick save system that you can use with the Spock package. So let me quickly demonstrate how easy it is to add and what you can achieve with it. So here I have this scene and if I go around and collect these coins, they disappear as soon as I collect them. And if I restart the game, you can see that those coins reappear again. This is probably not what you'd like to see in your game. And the quick save system will help us solve this issue. So uh, let me show you how quickly we can fix this with uh, that system. I'm going to select the coin prefab that I use in this game. And I have a pickup logic graph right here. Let's go edit. And currently all I have here is if the coin is collided with the player, then I add one coin to my coin count and then destroy the game object. And to make this destroy state saved, all you have to do is use one of the persist state units that I have. So there is a persist destroy state and also persist active state. If you're just deactivating the game object and you want the option to activate it again later on, you would use the active state. But since we were destroying our coin, I'm going to use the persist destroy state. So just by adding that, we can go back to our game, make sure we restart. And now if we collect some of those coin, restart the game, you can see those game objects don't appear anymore. So we can do the same thing with the rest of the coins and they continue disappearing. So that makes it pretty simple to achieve that. Now we can go inside of this persist destroy state unit and inside here you would see that I'm using my quick state save unit which does all of the logic that we see here. So let me quickly run through what options we have here. I have one trigger input right here whenever you want to save the state and then a string for the name for a variable that is unique to this game object that you want to save. So you can actually use multiple quick states per game object. And if you want to store some count, you can achieve that as well and pass integer or float values here. But for the destroy, I'm using a Boolean value. Also, I have a global option. So if you enable this, the state will be saved across all of your scenes. If this is disabled, then the state will be saved for the specific scene that you have loaded. My scene name is The Lost World. So that scene is going to have the state of those coins disappearing saved on it. Now the unique key name that I've decided to use to save all of the state is actually the initial position of the game object. So whenever we create a scene placing this item, we have the position that is stored for that game object and that position is being used for the unique name. If you want to find those saved variables, you can go inside saved and right here you can see there is a Spock quick state save and then the scene name the lost world and right here we have the list of saved states that we have the position followed by the name is used here to store all of these states so that is how that is achieved but alongside with those units you can go to Spock SP units inside safe system and find the units that are available here or right here in the all SP units, you can find the group that has all of them. So the quick state save is the main one and it's used inside the persist destroy state and persist active state. And then if you want to clear the state of all the global saved states or of this scene or a specific scene in your game, you can use one of these units and that will clear all the saved states for you. I used that system in the game that it was creating for the game jam, so you can try that out. In this game also the counting of the coins that I paid also uses that system as well. And you can see that the count is persisted and the state of the box being open is also persistent. 
So if you've purchased my SPOC package already, you have this new system available for you to use. And if you haven't purchased it yet, now is a good time because I still have a summer sale on it. And by purchasing it, you are helping out with this YouTube channel for me to create more tutorials on visual scripting and Unity and to improve this SPOC package. Thank you all for the support. Be sure to subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you in the next one.